What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Girls Frontline. This is a brand new strategy RPG waifu collector that just launched on iOS as well as Android. So if you like what you see, you can download this game immediately. Now, you know what I always say when I look at hero collectors? A hero collector is only as fun as a hero that you can collect. So let's start there, shall we? Um, so let's jump over to formation and I'll show you what squads I have so far. Um, so right now I have four squads full of waifus as you can see. Um, don't expect any males in this game. This game, you know, look at the titles called Girls Frontline. Um, so with that being said, I really do like the card art. I'm not that big of a fan of what the characters look like in combat, um, but that's going to be more of a subjective thing. Um, so let's just kind of jump over to combat so I can kind of show you what that looks like. Um, now, the combat, like I said, this is a strategy RPG, so it's going to be a little bit different than most games that you've played on mobile. Um, we're going to do this mission right here that I failed and only got an A on um, and see if we can't get an S um, in this video. So here is the map. We're going to go ahead and get this operation started by clicking on my command post. I'm going to take my primary squad of waifus here and launch them over here. Click start operation and let us begin. Now, as you can see, there are nodes throughout the map. Um, there are some enemies on some nodes or some nodes that are neutral and basically what I'm trying to do is take over all these neutral nodes um, defeat the enemy nodes and uh, Try my best to do it as in few turns as possible to get the highest ranking as possible So I'm gonna go ahead and move my first squad here um, And then also what I'm going to do is I'm gonna deploy my second squad um, Because as you can see I want to go once I've gone forward I can't go back so once this character goes to a node she can't go backward So I'm gonna deploy a second squad so they can do these nodes down here that I will not be able to get to um, As you can see I have action point zero, so I cannot move any further So we'll wait and watch the enemy do what they do So they'll move and they'll take over little spots as well And I can take those spots back by defeating the enemy and as you can see capture by enemy capture by enemy all right, so let's go ahead and get this guy off of this node right off the bat. So I'm going to move you down there, and battle will ensue. All right, so right now I have the game pretty much on autoplay for now. Um, it functions kind of like a standard hero collector in that aspect, where they just basically auto attack, and once their cooldown is up, they do their, their, uh, their special skill. And that's what you see when they go all anime style. So battle, success, get a bunch of EXP, and loot as well. So this is actually loot that I'm receiving here, and I can use those to level up other uh, characters or build more squads. All right, so I got two turns. I have two action points left. Um, so what I can do is move down here and then also move over here. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out as well. Now, the node that I just passed by, um, since I've already walked on it, and this is the way I believe the game works so far. I'm not an expert by any means, but I think since that I've walked over that node, it will go to my side the next turn. So it'll turn blue if, if, uh, if my theory is correct. There you go. Some more loot, some more experience points. All right. So I have no more action points. Go ahead and end the round. There we go. She's going to go back to her command post to defend it, because once you get the command post, the game is pretty much over. All right. So I'm going to take this character here, move down to this heliport and take it over. And then I'm going to deploy my third squad. And then move them down here so I can get this one, because on this bottom row, if I go up, I won't be able to go to the right, if that makes sense. So this this should work out. I should only need three squads to get all of the nodes on the map. All right, she's gonna he's gonna bring the fight to me and try to take my node. Should be pretty, pretty safe here. Yeah, very easy. Now there is like a massive. Oh wow, you guys are actually uh, pushing me a little bit. <laughs> there is like a massive, almost a uh, 800 megabyte voice. Uh, voice download voice download. Um, so if you want all like the little cute voices definitely download that but it is optional All right, so I got five more turns here or five more action points so Let me see here. I'm gonna try to do this the best I can I think I was wrong on that whole Let's see here 
Move you over here. I might have been wrong there. That's okay. I'm going to try to do it in as few turns as possible. Maybe I'll still get an S. But like I said, this game has a little bit more to it than, than meets the eye. And I probably need to play the game a little bit more to fully understand all of the intricacies of this, uh, this node system. All right. S rank there. Time for me to wake up. Dismiss that. <laughs> I'm already up. All right, and let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's see what happens here. Captured, captured. Nope, FG was wrong. FG was wrong. All right, so what I'm going to do... Hey, how did they get that back? Look at this. I'm telling you. Oh, see, that one did change. So I'm still learning this stuff um, because that node right here did actually change over to blue without me actually standing on it. So very interesting. I'm just going to go ahead and end this one here by capturing the command post and all these three nodes here. So that goes blue, blue, blue. I have everything blue on the map. So as far as I can tell, I should get an S ranking. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I got an A. <laughs> so this is the part that I'm still trying to wrap my head around because I haven't quite figured it all out yet. There's some more loot. And that is the basic combat here in Girls Frontline. Now, in addition to that, there of course, has to be a little bit of a social aspect to your little waifus. Um, so they have a dorm that you can come in here and play with them in. Um, I guess you can click on them to make them feel loved. I have two different dorm rooms right there. Click on you, make you feel loved. They do their little anime faces. Um, you can also decorate this place as well. So you can do different types of wall wallpapers and furniture. Um, you can change the floor. I think you have to get this from the actual game itself. Um, but yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a little bit of decoration that you can do in the game itself. Um, what else is going on here? And that, that, as far as I can tell, that's what this is all about. I don't know if it's mandatory to kind of take care of your little waifus in their their uh, their rooms and their dorms. Um, but yeah, there you go. I'm never really a fan of having to like touch you every day. Like <laughs> I don't really like that kind of stuff. But it is what it is. Now, once your characters have been in combat for a few times, they do take damage that does not replenish over um, after the battle ends. So, for example, and I'm just going to do this for the sake of the video, um, she has a little, a little, um, she's taking a little damage on her HP here. So, I can put her in the repair bay, and then after three minutes, she'll go back to full HP. Um, so, having a, you know, a large roster of characters is very important in this game. Um, speaking of large rosters of characters, um, the way that you get characters in this game is a little bit different than most titles. Um, I played a game like this before. Before, if you guys remember, um, I forgot the name of it. It's like or Ouroboros Project, uh, but it has the same exact summoning system. So as you can see, you have all these numbers that you can interact with here, and all of these numbers correspond to um, different opportunities to get certain characters. And what you can do is look at the production log and watch what everyone else has summoned and what codes that they've used. So for example, this character right here, the sniper, 400 squad, 550 ammo, 450 MREs, and 450 parts is the recipe used that he used to get this character. So I can click use recipe and I can take, I can basically copy that same exact recipe, hit start production. And then after three hours, there is a chance I can get that character or I can get something else. It's not guaranteed. Um, so that's that. And I can go back in here. I can do two of these at once. So let's say, let's say I like this character right here. Use recipe, start production. And then after five hours, I basically have a chance to get that specific character or something else. And that's basically how the summon system works in this game. Um, and then, of course, there are different ways for you to enhance your characters. Um, you can disassemble them. And then, of course, you can also use them. You can use uh, extras to kind of power up characters. So let's say, for example, I wanted to kind of burn a bunch of these extras. I can do that in order to pump up her level and, and power just a little bit. So um, that is the gist of the factory mode. Now, um, since this game just came out, um, there are lots of different uh, lots of different events going on right now for daily logins. Um, there's a 50 thousand pre-registration event that's going on as well um, so as soon as you log in you'll get an uh, instant four-star character which i'm using right here um, i've already logged in for three days so two more days and i'll be able to get whatever this is a bunny girl times one so that might be a costume of some sort um and then every single day so here on the third day there's always something free to get um so right here is a three-star character that i can pick up Looking good. Like I said, I do really dig the artwork of the characters themselves. I, I, I just wish they looked like that in the game, in the combat, them, like 
I, I don't like I don't really like chibi art style, unfortunately. Um, but like I said, that is a subjective opinion. Your opinion might vary. Um, the game also has some really good UI elements as well. Um, so quite easy. You can go into your quest log, hit collect all, and everything is collected. You can do that on all of these. Um, the UI is quite snappy, so you don't have to worry about laggy anything in this game. Um, but I think that pretty much does it. There is one more feature that opens up at level 12 that I don't have quite uh, open just yet. Um, but that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. So you have a combat, which is a story mission, um, logistic support, which is basically kind of like a garrison system um, where you send out your troops. They come back in about 30 minutes, an hour, two hours with loot and experience points. And I don't know what combat simulation is just yet. But like I said, that is the last thing I don't have unlocked, which unlocks at level 12. So um, that about does it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Girls Frontline. Um, look at this. Some good story here, too. I, I, read, I read quite a bit of the story, so um, if that's something that you are interested in, the translation is pretty decent. But that will do it. Let's take a look at how big this note is. Look at that. The maps do get quite big here, um, so it definitely pays off to have multiple uh, squads that you can kind of uh, play with here. And you, is, so I have friends. I promise I have friends. There they are. <laughs> so you can actually bring friends in here as well. So there's a, 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 a squad based off of whatever my friends are. Um, and they are basically kind of controlled by the AI. They kind of do what they want to do. I don't think I can actually move them. So let's see. Yep, they're, they're controlled by the AI. So they just kind of go off and do their own thing, which is fine by me. Um, but that gives you a little bit of extra power as well. So you don't always have to use your own deployment squads. But that will do it. Once again, guys, my name is FG3000. This is Girls Frontline. Like I said, if you're interested in this title, it is available for download on iOS as well as Android. Once again, my name is FG3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Hold on, we gotta get one more fight in before the video ends. Like, I just can't end, like, on a node screen. Here we go. Let's, let's try that one more time. One more time. Wait, wait for it. All right, my name is FG3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Later.